Hey everybody, it's a beautiful day today in the Ozarks. Eight more days till trapping season, and it's supposed to be 70 today. That's craziness. Um, it's been in the low 30s, high 20s, low 30s at night, but today is gonna be beautiful, so I'll take advantage of it. Um, what I wanted to do today was do a quick little video just talking about um, some of the things that I carry um, on the trap line, like tools and things like that. I'm not going to cover, you know, like dirt and other things. I'm going to do a whole nother video for that, but just some basic tools that I take and kind of how I carry them. So over the years, I've tried a bunch of different things. Um, I've used a pack basket. I've used, um, the last few years, I've been using like a five gallon bucket with one of those little pocket things in it that you have all the little pockets hanging on the outside of the bucket. Um, I've used a bunch of different things and honestly, I've never found anything that I just absolutely love. Um, the five gallon bucket's okay. Um, it's, it's easy for me to throw in the back of a truck. It's easy for me to throw in the back of my side by side. It's easy for me to do stuff. What I don't like about it is it's more complicated. If I like, you know, want to take it and walk 20 feet over to my set and have it right there at my set with me, it's more complicated for that. Um, a pack basket, basket is a little bit easier for that, but I find having to store it in the back of my side-by-side, -side, it just takes up so much room. Throwing it in the back of the truck, you gotta tie it in and stuff. I, I just didn't really like that either. Um, so I'm trying this year, I'm just basically using like a, a, a tool bag. Um, I know there's some specific like bags out there that are made for trapping. And I, and I have tried a couple of those in the past as well. What I don't like about any of the bags is that um, they're not long enough to fit all of my longer tools in like a, like stake drivers and, and things like that. And um, I never got to try, I know um, Coyote Trapping School guy, and I can't think of what his name is now off the top of my head, but um, he was making a bag for a while that was long enough to fit like your tools in it and, and things like that. But um, I think he's kind of off the grid now. I guess his ADC business is doing really well. So he's really super busy with doing that. At least that's what I've heard. Um, I should reach out to him and talk to him, but um, I just haven't. So really all I'm using this year is just like a, just like basically a tool bag that you can buy like at Lowe's or anywhere like that. Um, so this one has got pockets on the outside, it's got pockets on the inside, and I just thought I'd show some of the things that I carry. So obviously I carry a, um, a sifter. I actually have a couple of sifters. Um, I carry some gloves, I keep those in there. I do have this um, like longer trowel, and as you can see, it doesn't really fit totally in my bag. Um, it's a metal trowel with a metal handle. Um, it's the only kind of trowel that I can use here in the Ozarks and not break. Um, if I use a trowel, like I have one over here on the wall, like, uh, this trowel right here with the wooden handle and stuff, I'll break that in a few minutes. I mean, it just, it's just not going to hang here in the rocks and the hard clay and everything. So this is the only kind of trowel that I can use. I don't use it that often, but I do use it and I need to have it with me. So I carry it with me. As you can see, I painted it white. Um, I try to paint all my tools something that will stick out. So number one, just to protect them a little bit from the rust, but really most importantly is so I don't leave them behind and lose them. We've all done that. And there's nothing absolutely worse than leaving a tool behind or leaving a stake driver behind and having to backtrack to go find the darn thing. So I paint all of mine, um, some kind, wh whatever paint I have. And then I just, um, you know, hopefully won't lose them. So I have my stake drivers in here as well. I have um, this heat, um, the, you know, the hard heat one. Um, and then I have an old one that you can see is kind of bent on the end. It's, it's mushroomed down on the top. But what I do with that one is I use it just to put in little punch holes and things like that. That way I'm not using my good driver to do that. Let's see what else I've got my... Uh, Got my little um, knee pads in here. I've got some tools, some smaller tools, like I've got a pair of you know, those pliers. I've got my pan adjustment tool. I've got my uh, little whisk broom. I do carry like a little saw 
just in case I need to knock down like branches, especially if I'm gonna make like a cubby set or something like that and I need to take some, some cedar tree branches down or, or something like that. So a little saw works good. Also, you know, in case you need to knock something off the trail, there's a, a tree or something that's laid across the trail. I'm, obviously that's a lot of work, but you know, I, it's not like I have a chainsaw with me, so um, that works. I have my sod buster hammer in here. And I have my, my two inch auger I use. And I have this little like weed tool that I like to use. And let's see what else I got in here. I got a screwdriver in here. Um, and then on the outside, I've got some extra, got some extra anchors. And then over here, I've got, got some extra trap tags. I've got some extra um, swivels. I've got a connector, a couple of different connectors in there. I've got just basically a little stuff in here. So in case something breaks, in case I need something, I've also got some trap wire in here and, um, and just things like that. And that's basically what I'm carrying in my trap bag. Um, I'm using polyfill as a, uh, for a, underneath my trap pan and I have that in a Ziploc bag. I don't have that in here yet. I carry that in those big gallon size Ziploc bags. Um, and then all the other stuff that I carry, like feathers and T-bones and all that other stuff, I put that in a like a five gallon bucket with the lid on it and just put all that stuff in there. Um, so it's kind of like in a separate container. I don't want all that stuff with my, uh, with my tools. My tools is just basically what I'm using to set traps with. So I have a separate bag that has a smaller tool bag that basically has all my lure and bait and all that kind of stuff and my bait setting gloves and whatever. And then I have a five gallon bucket that's full of T-bones and feathers and all that other kind of rigmarole stuff. Sometimes I keep it in my bag with my lures and baits and then most of the time I don't have room so I'll just put it in a five gallon bucket. So that's basically what I'm carrying. Um, the only other thing that I don't have in here yet is my, my drill for my auger. Um, but I, I, I use that right now for other stuff. So when I get ready to go out in another couple of weeks, I'll throw that in here and I may throw a few other little things in here. But for the most part, that's really what I have, what I'm carrying and what I'm using. So I um, hope that helps. I'm going to try this tool bag. It's the biggest tool bag that I could find at, I bought it at Lowe's, I think on sale. Um, and it'll work. It doesn't fit everything in here perfectly well. But what I like about it, I think is what I'm gonna like about it. I wish it was longer and everything would actually fit inside of it. But, you know, if I wanna just pick it up and I wanna carry it to a, to a set location, you know, 20 yards away or something, I can, I can just set it down right next to me and I can have access to all my stuff. Um, I can throw it in the bed of the truck. I can throw it in the back of the side-by-side. -side. I can do all these different things with it. I don't have to worry about it sliding around, falling over doing all that kind of stuff. So that's really why I'm trying this. I just wish I could find one that was long enough that would fit all my stuff inside of it. But I'm gonna see how this goes. So hope that helps. If um, I'm missing something or you guys have tried another tool bag or trapper's bag or whatever that's better, please let me know. I'm not aware of one that's out there that's better, but maybe I'm just not aware. So let me know what that might be and we'll talk soon.